What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be uh, part four, right, yeah. series? Yeah, part four of the coffee shop series. So we're super excited that you guys are loving this um, series on here on our channel. Um, and for us, it's actually an amazing blessing that we were able to record these BTS for you guys and kind of give you as much information as we can. So in today's video, as you saw for the title and I've talked about on Instagram, it is sort of like an interview type of video where we share with you guys um, information, just get to know us, why we started it and answer some of your questions. Okay, are you ready for all these questions? Um, I am. Okay, how did we come up with the idea of the coffee shop? <clears throat> you? No, you. You go. No, you go. Okay. So, um, God have blessed us um, a lot. And we were looking for ways to invest money. Frances always have in the back of her head that she wanted to do a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, always in, I've had that thing in the back of my head where I wanted to open up a coffee shop, have like a, what is that called? Karaoke night, book club sort of thing. Um, I meet this guy and I find out that he's like super obsessed and loves coffee. And I was like, oh, that's great. But this was just like always in the back of our head. Like we never thought anything could come from it, to be honest. Yeah, I always make coffee for friends yeah. and people. We always like to have people in, in the house and, and you know, make some coffee for them. And they always say like, oh my God, your coffee is so good. Oh, you should do something. And I was like, yeah, 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 you know, whatever. And then boom, it happens. Yeah. So one day we sat down, we we're like, should we do, what should we do? Should we do, like you said, um, real estate or what? And I'm like, I think we should go for and open up a coffee shop. And it sounds really crazy, the idea, and super scary. Till this day, we're still super scared doing this. Every time we take a step, we're like, oh my God, are we doing the right thing? Yeah. So it was pretty cool to mix, um, a long, long dream with someone who also has the passion for the same thing. So I agree. Um, how did you guys come up with the name? Oh, this one's you. You remember we were actually in bed. Um, we were laying down in bed. Um, I think we had already put the kids to sleep or something. And we were talking about the coffee shop. We already had the idea of opening up the coffee shop. And we just kept on thinking about names and this and this. And we came up with like the most random, stupidest name until like randomly in the midst of like us shouting out names, your Margo's. But first, coffee. Yeah, and it kind of stuck. I was like, that's actually a quote. So that's pretty cool because it's catchy. People have that everywhere. So we kind of want them to, when they look at a quote in Hobby Lobby or somewhere, they're like, oh, look, the first coffee shop. We should yeah. go and have a drink. Recommendation, if, if you like a name, um, always go to, you know, if you live in the state of Florida, go to Zombies, go to... Um, uh, the Department of Registration or something. What it's is Sunbiz. it? Yeah, Sunbiz. You go to I don't Sunbiz. Know. Com, no, yeah. Sunbiz. Dot org and you search up a name. And if S that name is search. not taken, you hurry up and register your company. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why that name, um, it's just because yeah, but first coffee, but also but first Jesus, but first pray, but first you know, regardless of whatever your situation is, but first you know, and you decide what to put in the next part of the sentence. Okay, how did you guys register the company? I went to zombies.org. No, actually no. she hi first hired a company. I first hired a company because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So I hired a company. We paid like over $400 to register the company. It took over six weeks to get some answers as to why the company wasn't registered. And when I found out that you can go yourself into sunbiz.org and you can register your company, you yourself really easily. And I only pay $125 just to register the company. So these are things that obviously we're learning as we go. No one has thought of anything. We haven't taken any courses. We don't want, we don't have anyone on our hands telling us this is the next step. So yeah, I was able to get back our money or whatever, but it's super easy if you're trying to register a company, just one, go to sunbiz.org, make sure the name is not taken under the state of Florida, and two, just pretty much register whether it is an LLC, a cor uh, corporation, whether it is a DBA, a fictitious name, whatever it is that you're trying to register, you do it online yourself and you don't have to pay anybody. The next one says, how you rented the space, do you need a realtor? The way I did it, honestly, was, um, I went to Craxi, I went to LoopNet, I went to all these um, commercial space for lease and I just put our zip code where we wanted to have the space and everything came up and I just started calling people. White coffee and not something else. I think that was the same question from the beginning. Yeah. Because we are passionate about coffee and we always had that dream in the back of our head. Funny story. And it's something that I wanted to kind of like share with you guys. Last night we were... Um, 
look when we go to bed we kind of start looking at coffee things kind of get ideas and last night my husband was looking at a video we were looking at a video of this lady in puerto rico that does coffee also and for some reason this i don't think it's for some reason i think it was the holy spirit that reminded me our old pastor um eight or ten years ago came to us and she said hey guys i had a vision with you guys where i saw both of you um with lots of in she said in spanish with lots of tasas which are coffee mugs but when you say it in spanish you don't really think about coffee so she said i saw you guys with a lot of coffee mugs or mugs um in your hands and you had guys had a lot of them but you guys were painting on them and they were so beautiful and there was lines of people that were there to buy your coffee um to buy your mugs um and i told my husband that last night we, we both looked at each other and i just got chills all over my body he started like tearing because it makes sense sort of in yeah. a way you know <laughs> yeah you know coffee like, mugs designs latte art yeah um you make it a prettier prettier with the design and yeah. stuff like that so um, people is coming and making a line to buy them you know it's it just yeah. it just it, was, it just it is. was like we were like in shock like oh my god how god works and the way that all this has been like flowing it's only you can tell it was only it's 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 only god yeah and, and this this was like 10 years ago so yeah. we have no idea you know and sometimes we we hear a word from god and, and we want we want that word to be like tomorrow tomorrow and and god is like looking at you like doing crazy stuff and he's like i know where you're going to end up so what is the main equipment needed to operate? Okay. For the equipment, uh, we're not talking about the product that we're going to be selling. For the equipment, uh, you need a machine. machine. Uh, you need grinders. Grinders. Uh, obviously, you need all this stuff like a uh, little fridge, ice makers, and stuff like that. But the biggest investment after renovations and, and, and the bar, the tools, and the equipment, and whatever, the decoration of the place, I think that is the... The machine. It's the coffee machine. Yeah. The coffee machine is the most it's expensive the the uh, thing. So. Um, we uh, we have a lot of different brands. We actually do our research. Uh, we had the, f the the help of a friend. Uh, he helped us do the research. Uh, he have a, a lot of experience on this kind of this kind of stuff. Our machine is a uh, La Marzocco PB. La Marzocco. La Marzocco is one of the best brands on, like on commercial finger. commercial. Also, we have uh, two grinders. Um, we have two grinders. Their their brand is Marconic, right? So two different grinders. Yeah, that's the biggest investment. Um, you know, the machine and the grinders, and it's the heart of the coffee shop. So, yeah. you know, you better buy those things in like good quality because they're gonna last you like a lot of years. What you need to get started, you need the heart. <laughs> you need the passion. You need to educate yourself. I feel like a business advisor. You need a business advisor on your corner. We finally was able to get one. Like it was like a random. We got a business advisor and we did not know how much you needed this person until he showed up to our lives. Business advisor is the one pretty much to keep you on check and you tell him your dreams and he'll be like, no, you can't do that. Yes, you can do that. No, you're going to lose money. No. you. So I feel like if you get your, if you're really investing in a business, you should really, really look into hiring a business advisor. Um, but do a lot of research. We did a lot of research and the person who's helping us with the coffee knows so much that we were so happy to be able to hire him to help us with this because we thought we knew. So moving forward, this is something that I will be offering on our website that we will be la launching pretty, pretty soon. There's things that you'll be able to get in the website from our coffee shop, which is gonna be really, really cool. Um, but I'm also creating a course. If you're looking to start your own business, Business, whether it's brick or moral or e-commerce um, I want to help you get there like how to register your business how to go about loans how to go about finding accountants lawyers and all that so moving forward yes we will be sharing um, the information on how to start a coffee shop or whatever it is that you wanting to do you'll be able to buy the course and um, learn what we're learning right now we want to give you the tools to be able to be successful also and in lanzarte a tu sueño aunque tengas miedo a hacerlo so what you need to get started stay tuned because we're going to share way more information and very more in deep information on what you need to get started yep so for the final questions what are you guys going to be serving soup <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna 
have, um, a small, what is it called? Small bites. We're gonna have some sandwiches. We're gonna have some paninis, avocado toast. We're gonna have some amazing pastries. Um, we're gonna have obviously our main coffees. Um, we are going to come up with three of our signature coffee, which I can't wait to start introducing those coffees to you guys. Um, it's only for first coffee and I can't wait to show you guys. So if you want to stay up to date on all that, follow us on Instagram, but first.coffee. Shop? Yes, so it's buttfirst.coffee shop. When is the grand opening? Like, cuando tu vas a abrir? Oh my goodness, that's, that's a really good question. We don't know. I'm asking you that question too. Well, everything just depends on the permits, you know, that we can get, but we hoping and we crossing finger and we praying God uh, that we're gonna be opening for April. April! That's, that's our goal. And uh, we aiming for April, so <laughs> please. Where you guys are located? TBA. TBA. To be announced. Oh. We'll let you know when and where it's going to be. It is close to the Florida Mall though, so you can't you can't say you, you can't, can't it. make it. One is closer to Florida it's Mall. It's really close to the Florida Mall. Everybody goes to Florida Mall and we have parking. We have yeah. parking. We have it's, it's nice. It's a, it's a good location. It's a nice location. We're super excited. Yeah, we're super excited. Yeah, super excited. Well, anyways, um, that wraps up. I hope that we covered um, your questions. And um, if you have any others, just, just send them our way. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions. And I can't wait to see and meet you guys in the coffee shop and go hang out with us, drink coffee. She's the boss. Stop saying She's that. She's always going to be there. She's the boss. He's the boss. Your boss, baby. Okay. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for supporting this dream. Thank you for um, liking. Thank you for following us. If you haven't followed our Instagram, make sure you follow our Instagram. But first, coffee shop, and um, so you can see all the PTS um, from all this. So thank you, and I hope that you guys come back for next um, video next week. And again, one more time, shout out to our production guy, Gibby. GB with a GB. Gilbrand. <laughs> Gilbrand, uh, who made all this possible. And oh, he's, yeah. he's, awesome. he's helping us with all the BTS. So you're going to you're gonna uh, tag Gibby or put his yeah, information uh, yeah, below? Yeah, he's, he's going to put his information. You know, he's, he's, yeah, if you're looking for like video and all this. He's a beast. Y'all ready for this? Well, thank you guys so much for watching till the end don't forget to like comment subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell to be noticed for a new video thank you guys